name's Grandad. This morning I'm going to be running a cold water pipe from underneath the bed from the water tank where all the gubbins for the, the water is, the fresh water pump, the accumulator etc. You see that on a previous vlog anyway where I did all that. But uh, at that time I just plumbed that in but didn't put this cold water pipe in because I hadn't done the shower. Now the shower's done I'm going to start running a cold water pipe from the tank. It's going to run all the way down here through the step in the in the bedroom with a that's the bed at the side of the bed continue along here uh, at the side of the wardrobe this is all going to be boxed in but uh, and then through the, that gap at the bottom there into the shower and that goes behind the shower seat so that's going to then tee off there and go up to the mix the tap for the shower and then continue for the wash hand basin and then down to the rear of the boat so that's what we're doing today so so far all I've done is I've just drilled the hole through there put a clip in there a clip down there where that pipe goes across um, I'll put additional clips down here and then once I've done all that I'll put the pipe in and I'll show you the finished this job I'm just putting the clips in along the wall here and just a little thing I do is um, they put these pipe clips want to be at well I've measured it off at six centimeters so I put a bit of scrap pipe with a mark on all you do is just mark up your lines as you go down the boat you know put in section and just so many at the gap that's right for the pipe so uh, yeah I mark them off and then I put some clips in so that the centers are always uniform all the way down the boat and the, the pipe isn't sort of going up and down up and down right now we're back in the bathroom um, I pre-measured a piece of 15 mil speed fit and this is going to be the cold feed from the tank to the shower and the rest of the boat so I'm going to thread this under the stair, oh, stairs under the step in the shower enclosure so it goes on there and then through that gap at the end which is in the bulkhead bedroom bulkhead I said before these are all going to be um, covered by uh, like a decorative skirting board that runs along the boat so anyway I'm going to put that through to the bedroom side and then I'll, I'll show you the other side when I get around there so now we've threaded that pipe from the bathroom here and we're going to run it along here and then say straight through that hole the bedroom under the stair under the bedroom step and then it's going to connect into that elbow just there i'll fix it all in place and then i'll show you what it looks like when it's done so now we've got a cold water pipe that runs from the water tank through all the necessary stuff for the tank under the bed crossed to the port side of the boat and then carries on along the boat through into the bathroom and that's the main feed to the boat the first takeoff being the shower mixer and that cold water pipe we've just been talking about is this one here so this is going to come across and then tee off and go to the cold water pipe which is going to be this is going to be cut off and goes up to the shower mixer as we said before that um, we're bringing all the pipe work to here so that um, if any problems in the future there's going to be a sink unit in front of this this area just here with the door on so the gulper pump all the fittings and the for the hot and cold water supply are all going to be accessible from the um, sink cupboard or wash hand basin cupboard it's just going to make life easier in the future I think so now we've got the cold water feed from the tank running along low level to this T piece here and then it's going to branch off T off and go up and feed down the wall up to the shower mixer 
So all that's left to do then now is connect this. This is the hot coming from the rear of the boat. And this will be the last point where it takes off for the shower mixer. So there's just going to be an elbow on there, down, and then across because then there's going to be a takeoff for the wash on basin that's got to be installed in this sort of hit this sort of area in the bathroom. But I've got to finish this wall off here first, and then fit the gulper pump somewhere around about here, and then put the gulper pump outlet, drill a hole through here for the skin fitting. So hopefully by the end of today you'll be able to see this all sort of completed here. The next job on the list is to run a 0.75mm cables from underneath the bed where our um, water tank sensor is. Um, it's going to run along where that cold water pipe runs through into the bulkhead in the bathroom. This is actually uh, wiring for the gulper pump here which is behind a panel which is going to be tiled. Um, I've fished a wire, a thicker wire down through this conduit which runs from here all the way down to the end of there. I'm going to just get this, uh, the two wires you've just seen in the, in the bedroom, I'm just going to take those onto here and then fish them through the conduit up to the top so that eventually we will have a switch on here for the gulper and this is the switch that's actually going to be for the tank sensor gauge so you basically just wire um, a signal from this to the other to under the bed and then that'll tell us what whether we've got empty half or full for the water tank it needs calibrate and everything but when we actually install this uh, as a unit we'll show you that threaded the cable up through there now so that goes from the tank sensor all the way to here up that conduit follow it all the way through and that's comes out there and i've just left the loop of cable there i'm just going to put the cover back on there and uh it'll be that cover will come off eventually when we decide exactly the position of the sensor <laughs> That's a scary one. Yeah. yeah. Um, now we're going to do the wash and basin. So we've taped on the floor with this masking tape just here which is going to be the shape of our sink uh, unit it's going to run away all the way from the shower and finish at the return on the door so I've just sat the wash hand basin on the floor and all I'm going to do I'm pretty straightforward is that's my waist and I want it to go straight out the boat no to the left to the right straight forward so all I'm going to do is just mark on the wall up here where the waist wants to come through, measure the distance from there to there, go outside, mark it off. And it's going to be the same height because um, we know the where the wash and basin height is going to finish and that's going to give us enough drop for the wash and basin waste to run outside. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'll try to show you the drilling out the outside when I get round there. So I'm going to mark it out and then I'll bring you back on it when I'm back there to drill the hole.
Anyone want to spy at us on the cars here, you can look through this hole. That's it on the inside of the boat, obviously. I'm just going to cut some insulation away now, just around here, just so uh, we can get to tighten this knot and everything up so the insulation isn't in the way. skin fitting that we're using um, it will eventually have sicker flakes put around this collar that fits onto the outside same on the inside and it'll all be bolted up the same as this this one has, is still dry isn't fitted in permanently just drilling the holes out at the moment getting everything set up so that uh, we know where the gulp is going to finish and the obviously the sink waste is going to go through there um, so these will all be finished and all this bare metal will be coated and painted up and stuff so there's no no uh, rust or whatever going to get in there corrosion but for now we're just going to dry fit them so that they're in place and then we can take them out because we're going to recoat the coat the outside of the boat with blacking soon so uh, once that's all done we can permanently fix these in This is the area in the bathroom where we're going to put the uh, a light switch. So we've run the cables down the cable tray and then down this conduit. It hooks behind this back of this silver foil and pokes through again. So we've sealed it round so it don't break that barrier if you like. And then that conduit runs down the wall to here. And then this is going to be this silver foil here will go on the front of that if you get me and then there'll be a hole round about there where these cables will be sat right now I've uh, got the cable down the wall in the conduit and now I've put the foil insulation over the top and then you can see where the cables are going to actually poke through through there and now the next job to do is to put the plywood on top of that and then fit the uh, back box to the plywood this will eventually be um, just one huge mirror um, probably acrylic we think I'm going to remove this now and then just put a couple of coats of varnish on the back of it let that dry and then we can then screw this up to the wall and that's another job done and nail all these in them. Fix them all back. Yeah. And then we can get on with it. Just cut away little access panels there and there. Again, 
just in case there's any snags in the future that we can get to things that aren't covered over they haven't got to rip the old boat to pieces just to get to a certain bit make these panels that go over the front obviously these are going to be sort of uh, cut in the middle where the hose comes through and then you'll see that in a, in a bit anyway but yeah so basically we can remove that panel get to that do any problems that we have or sort anything out and then put the panel back on and then the sink unit will be shaped around the front of there so this is actually the back of the sink unit <laughs> Just gonna stick this bit of pipe in there just as a temporary. So this, all right, just go a bit under the end of it then. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, stop any dirt. Turn wind, it? Yeah. The gulper pump that we've got is this whale gulper, whale gulper. Um, and originally when we got it the outlet was that side, the inlet was this side but these are, you can turn them around basically. All you do is undo these, slacken these two screws off, you don't take this off completely, just slacken them off and this will spin 180 degrees so now our inlet is on the right side where we want it to be and the outlet will come out there. So you just spin it around and then tighten the screws back up. So then you can face it to which way you want it to go. And then little screws on. Oh, no.
them so that it vibrates. It doesn't, you know what I mean, it doesn't make yeah. a load of noise. And then in there, we can still, we can still take that, that out to get under the floor then. That's just an inline fuse that comes supplied with a Gulper, just a 5 amp fuse, so you just, it's just already connected with lead, so you just uh, yeah, plug it in, obviously to the positive side there, and that's that, so that's wired in ready, it's all wired in to the back of the boat now. Sweat. Hey. Yeah, sort of sweat. Just sweat, though. Sub <laughs> the lines. Is it? <laughs> it's like the really therapeutic doing this isn't it? I really like painting the blacking. Might do another coat tomorrow. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Oh, it's hours, yeah. yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. That's coming. Calamity that's called. Oh no. Yeah calamity. <laughs> just, just a little boat being moved. So the bitumen we've used is a Belastic Black Premium Narrowboat Hull Blacking with improved UV protection so black stays blacker for longer. That's what it says on the tin so we'll wait and see and see what happens with that. Um, we got it from SML Marine Paints. We've had uh, quite a few pots of paint from them. Um, comes really quickly, well packaged and we've been really pleased with the company. Use the black Sikaflex to attach the uh, chrome plated brass skin fittings. Oh, I'm just going to let that seal and then I'm just going to cut that back. Yeah. 
same with this one. against the steel. That's it. So just put a bead of this round the inside now. It's a bit awkward to see because I can't see what I'm doing so. Messy stuff to work with especially if you get it on your fingers but um, creates a really good seal. And then it's just a, like a brass spacer washer thing that goes over that. Against the hull of the boat. And then this just goes over the top of that. Tines it up into place. Tighten that fully in a minute. I'll just get this one on. This one's more the awkward one because it's gone. That's for the sink. This one's going to be for the sink, yeah. And the one with Walter. Yeah. I'm going to hold that in a minute and then just nip these knots up. But yeah, that one's for the sink and this one's for the gulp and they're both three, they're both um, three quarter outlets and you couldn't get away, you can get away with putting a half inch or 15mm half inch one for the sink but our thinking is that the, the bigger the hole the more, less resistance there is for the sink to empty. So there's more space for the water to go, although there ain't going to be a vast amount of water in the washhand basin. It just gives it a bit more diameter to get the water out of the boat, that's all. Don't have to go mad with them. Sick of flexing all the seal against it. You know what I mean? It hasn't got no pressure on it, so I'll just let that set now before we disturb it because this one here is for the gulper pump and it's going to have to I want the pipe work to, I want I don't want this I'll explain it to you now before we do it I don't want this to be sort of strained and any you know what I mean any bends in it they're going to restrict it so I'm going to, once that's set I'm going to put these little extenders onto there there and there and then the, el the elbow onto that and then it'll give me enough room for this to go there straight down without without putting any excess on that so it's more of a it's going to just sweep round into there then okay so perhaps a job for tomorrow we'll yeah need, that just need that to really set now before we start playing around with it okay 